I want to look at increment and decrement operators. Specifically, I want to look at pre-increment and post-increment or pre-decrement and post-decrement and how they work. It took a little bit for me to wrap my head around actually how they work. So when I got, got it down, I decided I'd make a video because I'm sure somebody else is having a little hard time wrapping their head around about how these things work. So we have here, I have a four variables initialized. I have variable x1 equals 1, x2 equals 1, and then I got a couple, got y and z, and we're going to look at y and z and see how these work. Right now, let's look at, this should show uh, y equals 5 plus x1. Well, x1 is 1, so that's going to be 6. Let's take a look. You notice down here I got, I'm using uh, C Sharp, by the way, to do this, but it works in C++, Java. So, you know, whatever con uh, console or compiling program you use, you can do it in there. It's pretty much the same. Just how you display it is going to be a little different depending on what you use. But anyhow, we're going to take a look at Y with no increment and no decrement. It should total up to 6. 6. Alright, there it is. Y equals 6. Now, we know that plus plus is the same as adding 1. So you would think that uh, Y equals 5 plus X1, which is 1, and plus 1 you would think that would equal 7, but it's going to equal 6. Look at this. Notice y equals 6. And the reason why is just the order of operations here. y come in to, and it gets the total of 5 and the total of x1 and then stops. Once it got to this right here, it just stops. Even though it went ahead, we didn't see it, there was one added to it. It was added after the variable accepted these two right here. When we put the plus plus on the other side, this y is going to accept 5 plus 1 plus 1. Now if we were to change that to 2, it would accept 5 plus 1 plus 2 if we were to change x1 to 2. So let's take a look. There it is. y equals 7. If the plus plus was on this side, y equals 6 plus plus on this side y equals 7 let's take a look at changing this uh let's change this to the variable z here we'll change that z is going to equal whatever z is now we notice that we're going to plus plus x2 x2 is 1 so we're going to add 1 to 1 plus 5 that should equal 7 and it does And notice when we stuck it on the other side, even though it added, we didn't see it added to the X2, we noticed that it just took X2, which is 1, plus 5. So in order to get it to go ahead and add, you need to have pre-increment on the left side if you want to display the result with the added 1. If it's on the right side, it's not going to display that result. Let's see how it works with the decrement operator. Let's go back to this one here. Okay, we're going back here. We're going to look at the decrement operator. We changed. We're going to look at Y for this example here. Which So we changed. What's going to display is going to be the results of Y. So if we put the uh, decrement operator on the right side of X1, the way it reads when you look at it, it looks at 5 plus 1, because x1 is 1, minus 1, because minus minus subtracts the 1. However, because the operation is done at this point, as far as what we're going to read here, what we're going to see is 5 plus 1 equals 6, even though technically it should equal 5. See, we got y equals 6. Move the decrement operator to the other side. It should say 5 minus 1 is 4 plus the 1 should equal 5. And there we go. Y equals 5. 
So hopefully that helps you get your head wrapped around about how increment and decrement operators work in both the pre-position and the post increment position. If you want to uh, see some other programming videos, you can just visit SkeetersE71.com. I also have how to Photoshop, Dreamweaver, Illustrator, and WordPress videos at that site as well. Have a good day.